quite different from my day. <laughs> You've no idea. Mike, can I borrow your phone? There's no signal on mine. Well, what's wrong with the landline? Oh, I prefer to text. Sorry. It's in my coat. Uh, here. Use mine. Oh. Thank you. It's an old friend of mine, John Watson. Afghanistan or Iraq? Sorry? Which was it, Afghanistan or Iraq? Afghanistan, sorry, how did you... Ah, know? Molly, coffee, thank you. What happened to the lipstick? It wasn't working for me. Really? I thought it was a big improvement. Mouth's too small now. OK. How do you feel about the violin? Sorry, what? I play the violin when I'm thinking. Sometimes I don't talk for days on. And would that bother you? Potential flatmates should know the worst about each other. But you, you told him about me. Not a word. Then who said anything about flatmates? I did. I told Mike this morning that I must be a difficult man to find a flatmate for. And now here he is, just after lunch with an old friend, clearly just home from military service in Afghanistan. Wasn't a difficult leap. How did you know about Afghanistan? Got my eye on a nice little place in central London. Together, we ought to be able to afford it. We'll meet there tomorrow evening, 7 o'clock. Sorry, I've got a dash. I think I left my riding crop in the mortuary. Is that it? Is that what? We've only just met, and we're going to go look at a flat. Problem? We don't know a thing about each other. I don't know where we're meeting. I don't even know your name. I know you're an army doctor and you've been invalided home from Afghanistan. I know you've got a brother who's worried about you, but you won't go to him for help because you don't approve of him, possibly because he's an alcoholic, more likely because he recently walked out on his wife. And I know that your therapist thinks you're limp psychosomatic, quite correctly, I'm afraid. It's enough to be going on with, don't you think? The name's Sherlock Holmes and the address is 221B Baker Street. Afternoon. He's always like that. 